And this developing story out of the Elm City as well. Police are investigating bomb threats at medical centers in the city. Yeah, authorities believe they could be connected to suspicious white powder found at several offices in the state yesterday. News 8's Tina Detail live in our newsroom tonight with the latest developments we're learning about this. Tina. Yeah, not only are they investigating those hoax bomb threats, but they also responded to two white powder calls on Church Street in New Haven. And the same man is believed to be responsible for what happened in Harford County yesterday and in the Elm City today. 157 Church Street, the Connecticut Financial Center, and 141 Church Street, which is the federal courthouse next door, were two targeted locations in New Haven. Hazmat crews responded to white powder calls about 2 o'clock Thursday afternoon. Federal agents say they are related to the white powder calls in Hartford and Bristol Wednesday, which led to the arrest of 51-year-old Gary Gravel, who has a history of making threats. Gravel, who up until recently lived in New Haven, is also believed to be responsible for a threatening email at 4 o'clock early Wednesday morning, which led to the evacuations of four medical care facilities in the Elm City, while the bomb squad searched for a hazardous device. We had, you know, you know canine support, uh, as well as all of those individuals working hard with high heat, uh, you know, for false calls, very difficult uh, when we deal with that. The city's bomb squad responded Wednesday to Fellowship Place, Cornell Scott Hill Health Center, Continuum of Care, and a facility on Norton Parkway. The bomb threats were sent to an administrator at one of those locations. And then that administrator then, in fact, uh, disseminated that to the other facilities to, to, be, to be careful, and that prompted uh, evacuation. In a separate email Wednesday afternoon, another threat was made here at the Connecticut Mental Health Center. Uh, that was a late one that came in as well, and they were looking for him uh, from the start. So not only was he wreaking havoc in Hartford, but he was doing the same here in the city of New Haven. That continued Thursday with the white powder calls on Church Street. If you see something, say something, call 911. Do not touch any of that. Good advice. Now, New Haven police are warning people that if they receive a letter, parcel, package, or a delivered item from Gary Joseph Gravel, remember that name, to leave it alone, don't touch it, and call police. We're live in the New Haven newsroom. Tina Detell, News 8.